Hi there, welcome to this video. This is actually part of a longer video which I have put a link to in the description. And in this video, we're actually just gonna be looking at one app specifically. If you wanna see all the apps, then check out my main video here and you'll be able to see me run through each and every one of them. So Home App gives you additional customization for your home screen and for your app drawer. So here we can actually set the home screen grid to be, if we wanted, seven by seven. Now the maximum I think you can set it to is five by six in the default settings, but either way, you can actually set this now to seven by seven and the same for the app grid as well, seven by seven. So you can now see it's a lot easier to go through your apps. And again, the home screen now, we've now got an option for seven apps side by side. We can adjust the blur control here so how blurry it is when your apps screen is actually in the front. So we don't want any blurring at all. Do that, and that just saves a bit of processing power, a bit of battery, but it does look nicer when it's blurred. So we'll leave it on slightly. We can also set the loop page adoption here. So what that does is allow you to keep scrolling through your apps here and it will never stop. Whereas without it on, you come to the end and you can't go past. We can also tell it to hide application labels. Now, I personally wouldn't do this because it looks a bit uh, looks a bit messy like this, but you can turn off all the labels for your applications if you so wish. Okay, so the next thing we can do in HomeUp is decorate our folders. So if we go into here, we can actually customize the look of our folders. So on your home screen, you normally get, you know, you can change colors and things here if you wish, but there's not a huge amount of customization that you can do for the actual folder itself. So in Home Up, we can actually customize it to look exactly how we like. So we can check different options here for the font color. I'm gonna leave it as white. We can set the actual background of the folder itself when you open it up. So you can choose anything at all. You can set the transparency, so turn it off completely. We'll have it 70% transparent. And you can actually also adjust the corners of the folder itself. So we have a nice rounded one there. Let's check that out. Does help if you actually turn it on. Okay, so our folders will now all look like this. So you may want to customize it to look slightly less garish. Let's go for a blue color. It's a shame you can't actually set the size of this text to be slightly larger. But let's put a bit of transparency in there and maybe set the corners to be not quite surrounded. Okay, that's uh, reasonably nice. Now, if you want to enable machine learning on your phone, then you can actually disable pop-up folder and enable folder title suggestion. So what this will do is suggest names for the folders that you've got. So depending on what apps are in your folders, you can actually get it to automatically set one for you. So if I just click in here, We'll see here it's already suggested Samsung tools, which I've already set it to, accessories, utilities. So let's say we want to have utilities instead. Same for the media. If we click in here, we can set it to something else such as entertainment. So that's quite a nice little feature. And we can also set down here the actual grid inside the folder. So how many icons you want. So we can set it to seven by seven on both. So you can see here it's looking pretty tiny now, but you could have seven icons by seven and also in the preview. So I'm gonna set the preview one down a bit because I can't really see it. I'm gonna put that back to three by three. So the icons have appeared bigger here so I can quickly see what is in each folder. But when I go inside the folder, we can then have as many as seven by seven. So that's home up, it's quite nice uh, little Bit of customization you can do there and you can of course back up your different folder options here if you wanted to you can't back up if it's not the home and apps array that the home screen supports by default so that's probably 
because I've got the settings here to be 7x7, seven seven, let's try change that back down to say 5x5, five five. see if it's any happier now. Yeah, so we can actually allow it to back up. It has also had that error message again, but let's just try back up. Okay, so it's now saved our backup here. Let's try another one. And we've now got two different backups. It's not allowing you to do anything outside of the default uh, app arrangement, which is a bit of a shame really, because you'd probably quite like to be able to, you know, have different customizations uh, depending on what you're doing and who's using the phone, but it doesn't allow you to do that sadly. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel and I will see you again in the next one.